Hello everybody, this is Not Necessary Ninja, and today I'm going to bring you a commentary on what Call of Duty game has the best DLC. Now first off, this gameplay is a chem strike, and I had to cut cut it apart. It's kind of like a Frankenstein gameplay, but it is a chem, nonetheless. And there's like a couple parts I have to cut because of the lag. Like sometimes the Roxio doesn't capture right, and it lags. Like visual lag on the screen. But it has a better editing suite, and I don't have a third-party editing system, so I can't use my Elgato. Cause, because that one doesn't have an editing suite, you need kind of third-party editing suite. So, anyways, if you don't want to spend the money on editing suite, buy a Roxio. If you have an editing suite or are planning to buy one, buy an Elgato, because it has better capture quality. And it has a flashback recording. Little tip. Little tip right there. That's why you watch my videos, right? Tips and tricks? No. I'm telling you today why Call of Duty Ghost has the best DLC out of any Call of Duty game by far, and I'm sure you probably agree with me because it just kind of is. I mean, it's kind of a fact now. I mean, all none of the other Call of Duty games had DLC as diverse and had guns along with maps, camos, player customization, all that combined. None other Call of Duty, no other Call of Duty had that. For except Black Ops 2 got close, it didn't have the character customization, and I think they tried all these aspects out on Call of Duty Black Ops 2. Because you saw they took out the Peacekeeper, or they put in the Peacekeeper right in the beginning, and they also had the camos, the personalization pack camos, and they, those were awesome, I love them. I actually made a pretty cool series, it actually did very well, it did one of the, at one point, my best my highest uh, viewed video was actually from that series. I like got a chem with all, or uh, I got a swarm with all the new camos. So, anyways, actually, I could probably do something like that for this game, like get a Loki. But, anyways, I just think that this game's DLC is awesome because even the maps, like I love the maps. The only map I don't like is Containment. I didn't really like Fog at first, but Fog definitely grew on me. If my last video was a chem on Fog. I just really like that game, or can't really like that map now, holy crap, and I don't know, it's just, all the maps are small, which I really like, I kind of hated how they waited to give us the small maps, but hey, they're there, and even stuff like the trolley, just the small little details make all these maps, like, they're so compact and detailed, and I don't know, I just really like all of them, and for except the containment, as I said, and the new DLC maps look really cool, and they're adding more uh, field order challenges that get you into chem or get you into kill streaks because people were really bashing that there were no good kill streaks in this game. And I I agree, man. I always run specials now because it's not even worth it going for 100 plus or going for any high scoring gameplay. You I don't know unless you're like wicked good, you don't probably only get gonna get like 50 kills 60 kills on a really good game but I don't know like I said good they they they're implementing guns and I love that I love switching up with the guns that's awesome the camos also really cool the maps like I said awesome and like if you look at like Modern Warfare 3 and that that had like horrible DLC I I liked uh, Call of Duty Black Ops 2's DLC even though I only bought one of them the studio remake one, but anyways, that's a chem strike for you. My personal opinion: Black Ops 2 or Call of Duty Ghost has the best ever DLC in Call of Duty history. If you agree, please leave it in the comments. And I just want to say thank you for watching, guys, and have a great day. I approve this message.